Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really fun, quick and easy, real life meals that we ate this past week and I'm excited to share them with you, show you how we kind of use some leftovers from one night into a slightly different meal another night. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. All right, so dinner for tonight is super easy. We're having soft tacos. I had taco meat that was already in the freezer cooked and seasoned. So we just chopped up some veggies. We got some lettuce, tomato, some avocado. I did not have that, my husband did though. Taco sauce, sour cream. I love to put the chili lime seasoning on mine and some cheese. And that's it for dinner tonight. Super easy. Tonight's dinner, super easy. We're gonna do some baked chicken thighs. I feel like I've done this a lot lately, <laughs> but um, my husband really only likes dark meat like certain ways, which I'm totally fine with. It takes the guesswork out of it for me. Um, and I had some chicken thighs in the freezer, a few packages of them, so we've been working through them. But I am just seasoning them, seasoning them with salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I am gonna do both sides. So let's flip them over. We do have a pot of water and some chopped up or cubed up, however you wanna say it, potatoes. Uh, we're gonna have some mashed potatoes. I Left the skins on, I just have the golden potatoes and we like the skin, so I just kept it really simple. And I got that boiling. We have a leftover like creamed corn, which I think is from another video. I'm not sure, I'll try to link that, uh, the video where that's in. Uh, but I have some of that leftover in the fridge as well. And then I'll probably steam up some green beans. So really easy dinner. Now I'm just going to add on some of this barbecue sauce. This is the last of my barbecue sauce that I stocked up at Aldi from um, last summer. They have barbecue sauce all the time, but this brand is my favorite and I bought quite a few bottles, um, but we're getting towards the end here. So I may um, make up some barbecue sauce to like have to like dip our food in um, later, but we use what we've got for now. And then I've got the oven preheated to 425 and we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I don't think it's going to take long. This is a pretty small dish. There's maybe a pound and a half of chicken in here, so not like a ton. We'll get that in the oven. So I don't share every time what I do with my mashed potatoes, but I thought I would tonight. So my potatoes are cooked, drained, and I'm just mashing them. We do not mind some chunks in our potatoes at all. Um, as long as they're nice and tender, it's all good. I'm going to add in some sour cream. I'm just going to use the rest of this container. Sometimes I do um, cream cheese. It just kind of depends on what I've got and what I want to use up or what I'm in the mood for. I did pull this off of the stove just so it'd be easier um, to show you, but you can also leave it on the stove at like low heat, but there's plenty steamy if you can't tell. I'm going to also add in, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of butter. I do this all just by sight. It just depends on, you know, how, how much potatoes you're making and all of that, obviously. I'm also gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of um, almond milk. We'll just adjust that as needed. I really don't do anything fancy with our potatoes, but I, I don't know, we always like them, so. I'm gonna also season it. You can do salt and pepper if you want. I don't like to cook with pepper. I'm gonna use this Herbamir. It's a seasoned salt, very, very good. And I often forget about it. And that's gonna be it. I'm gonna pop the lid back on it till we are ready to eat. My kitchen's a little, or my counters are a little crowded at the moment, but we're gonna make a little more sauce because I didn't have a lot of barbecue sauce. I don't know that this is considered a barbecue sauce recipe. And once again, okay splattering some ketchup. I'm not um, measuring, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna put in it. To start, we have some ketchup. That's probably, I don't know, a quarter cup. Actually, I probably need more than that, huh? So we have more like a half a cup. We've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. That's maybe like a tablespoon, and maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. Tastes good to me. I don't know what to call it, but it's yummy. All right, so this is dinner for tonight. We got some baked barbecue chicken thighs, some cream corn that I was telling you about. I just steamed and buttered some green beans and our mashed potatoes. 
For tonight's dinner, we're gonna be making chicken burrito bowls, I think is what they're called. I have made these many times before, but it's been quite a while. I would say possibly even a couple years since I've made this. I don't know why. Um, I do think I have a video for this, but it's from my like beginning of my channel. Um, so I'm gonna share this with you again. I always do it a little bit different because it kind of has two steps for the slow cooker, like halfway between you add stuff. I'm not gonna do that, I never have, and it always works out fine. But I will have the original recipe linked down below for you if you wanna check that out. So I have two chicken breasts. You want a one to one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I'm going to sprinkle on some seasoning here. I've got two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna add in one can of drained corn. The recipe calls for one cup of frozen corn and it doesn't go in until later, but we're gonna throw it in now and it'll be just fine. This is our day of the week where we have plans and places to go. We'll be eating late, so I want everything done when we come home, so I'm just doing it this way. I've got one can of black beans that have been drained and rinsed. We're gonna dump that in there. The recipe calls for just a smaller can of diced tomatoes, I think a 14 ounce can or a 13 ounce can, I don't remember, but this is a 28 ounce can, but that's all I've got. And I'm just going to do it. Just all that means is a little extra tomato and a little extra liquid, which is just fine. And then I'm also going to add in one cup of chicken broth. Now you would also be adding in um, some rice. That's one of the things, I think you added the beans, corn, and rice halfway through. I'm not worried about the beans and corn. And I'm just gonna cook the rice separately on the stove top so that I have it ready for us when we come home and I will just mix it in um, right before we eat and we'll shred up the chicken and all of that. So I'm gonna put, cook this on low war. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start it on low. I only have probably like four and a half hours before we're eating. So I'm gonna do low for like an hour or so and then I'll put it on high. Um, I'm just kind of guessing on that. And I'm gonna use, I have some chicken broth left over in this carton. So I will make my um, rice with chicken broth just to give it a little extra flavor. Um, but we're just gonna let this do its thing. And I'm gonna make the rice, but I'm not gonna show you that because that's pretty self-explanatory and easy. All right, guys, well, we have a change of plans in our evening. So I actually bumped this up to high just to, we didn't need to eat as late, but we're kind of eating as late anyway. But nonetheless, high or low till your chicken's done. And as you can see, it is falling apart. So I am just going to get this all shredded up and then I'm going to add in the rice that I made earlier and then we should be good to go. All right, so that was shredded up really easily. Now, um, because my rice was cold, cause I had it in the fridge, I'm just going to add that in and mix that together and let it just kind of hang out for a little bit. Um, it, what was in my crock pot was pretty much boiling. So it'll, it'll warm up pretty quick, but we're just gonna let that kind of hang out for a minute and get comfortable together and figure out what toppings we want on top of this. All right, so I just topped mine with some shredded cheddar cheese. I've got some sour cream and blue corn tortilla chips on the table, so just kind of eat along with it. Um, but that is it, super easy. I very much recommend this recipe. Like I said, I used to make it all the time, but I haven't made it in a couple years and I don't know why, but I'm really excited for it. All right, guys, so for tonight's dinner, I just pulled some drumsticks out of the freezer earlier today because we have a bunch of sides left over from other meals and I needed some meat to go with it. So um, I'm just putting them, put them in a greased baking dish and then I'm going to spray them with some olive oil spray, season them with some salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some paprika. And then I just have a little bit of this uh, sauce left that I made the other night. I think it's in this video. <laughs> and um, like we didn't end up using a lot of it. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of it on top of the chicken. And then I'll save the rest of it for us to like put on after it's baked. And I have my oven preheated to 425 and I'm gonna put these, this in the oven. I think for about 20 to 25 minutes, we'll see. Uh, how long it takes. And All right, so we just have our barbecue baked drumsticks and leftover sides cleaning out the fridge. And that's what's for dinner tonight. All right, so that chicken burrito bowl made so much. We've already eaten it as a leftover um, and we still have a ton of it left. So I'm gonna heat some of it up 
and we're going to make fried burritos with it. So I have a damp paper towel, towel here. I'm gonna put another damp paper towel on top and put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to warm and soften up the tortilla a little bit. We just thought this would be a great way to use up the leftovers in a different way. And there's not a ton of liquid, especially in the leftovers. So this is what we're gonna do. Got my... <laughs> I have my pan getting nice and hot. I've got it at like medium heat. Got my tortilla here. We're gonna put in a little bit of cheese. Honey, I think I'm gonna need the cheese. I think we need more than this. Okay. I'm gonna try to not overfill these so that I can make them nice and neat. But this is a, we could actually just do it this way from the beginning with the chicken burrito bowls. But I think this is a great way to use up the leftovers. And you kind of switch it up with the same thing, but different. I don't know. I said I wasn't going to try to, I was going to try not to overfill it, but I feel like I failed at that. All right. We've got our pan here. I don't know. It's too hot. Probably touching it wasn't the best way to find out, but it wasn't too hot. So I'm going to use avocado oil, but you could use olive oil. All right, it's nice and hot, so we're just going to tuck in the edges. Try to tuck in the edges <laughs> and lay it seam side down. I heated up the leftovers first because they really don't go in the uh, pan for very long. It just takes a couple minutes on each side when it gets nice and golden brown. Flip it over and that's pretty much it. All right, Jesse is going to have his with some lettuce, tomato, and sour cream. I'll, cream. I'll probably just have mine with some sour cream. But um, there you have it. Dinner for tonight. Great way to use up some leftovers. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and have your notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.